we planned missions in Africa to support uh, our brigade, which was regionally aligned under USARAF, which is the United States Army Africa. And what does that mean in terms of our actual mission on the ground? They're interested in securing their own part of the world, their backyard, so to speak. And uh, their militaries uh, understand they may have some capability gaps uh, that we could help them close. I think it is a great way to allow these partner nations to facilitate their own security and, and their own prevent instability in their own regions. Uh, I think this is the first part of the prevent, shape, and win. Uh, this is how we get left of the boom and prevent having to actually go over and solve things kinetically for other people. These nations want to be distributors of security rather than consumers of security from the United States. They want us to be able to come over there uh, and help build their capacity for security and stabilization within their own region, vice have us do it for them. We would send junior NCOs and junior officers in many cases over to run small teams in Africa uh, for up to four months at a time. Yes, it was uh, myself and a team of six. Uh, we interacted with 193 soldiers, uh, day in, day out for three months. Uh, it wasn't just training, just medical and resupply. We also shared stories of deployment, personal stories of the difference between Burkina Faso and the United States. So it was a marriage of culture. Uh, I was a major by the, 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 the first time that I was really immersed into another culture in another country, and it happened to be Iraq in 2006 and 2007. I was in learning how to engage with and deal with the culture at the same time conduct combat operations. There was a lot going on. I think an advantage we have here is we're able to expose some of our leaders and should we be committed to having to win decisively in a large scale operation somewhere, they're gonna already have a lot of this cultural expertise. I think that's important. Watching our soldiers train side by side with uh, African military and sharing their experiences, many of which our soldiers coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq had those tactics, those techniques, those procedures that they had learned. Being able to share that with the African soldiers, the leaders, the junior NCOs, uh, person to person was extremely refreshing and the Africans we dealt with were very grateful for that experience. I think it's absolutely excellent for the partner nations, but also for the U.S. Army soldiers to be exposed to different cultures. So hopefully going on in the future is something that we continue. It, it is entirely possible and plausible for us as a nation to have a real geopolitical impact on our partners and to facilitate things before they become problematic or to, to, to solve problems before they become real problems. Uh, I think it's in the U.S. interest to have a stable Africa. They believe it's in their interests. I think we share that interest, and any work we do to help them achieve that is probably money well spent.